It's so early in the morning, I can't see the road at all. We're going right up to the sun. Oh yeah! There was a there was an extra bandit camp here, right? I said I was gonna go here earlier. I guess we're gonna go do that right now, even though the sun is breaking. They're already freaked out. At me? Okay, that's how you wanna play, huh? In that case... Breaking through my glass? I'm over here, guys. I froze again. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try using the car again. Take two! Oh! Oh! My car can't flip over. Who's still yelling? Hey! Trying to snipe me? You should be happy I didn't freaking murder you like I did with your friends. There's still another guy up top. Is this how you really want to play? I'll get you. Push him off the building. Oh, I tried using a melee attack, but it just knocked him out. <laughs> huh. Well, well. I leave two of you alive to tell everyone around here that there's a psycho with a car on the loose and they're not afraid to ram you all over, okay? You should have just let me pass. That's all I wanted from you. You guys didn't have anything good, though. Some dusty, crappy truck. You were reading Metro 2034? A sand-covered copy. Yeah, there's a little camp here, but this one doesn't count as a question mark. It's just a random thing in the middle of the road. Fine with me. We keep going. We go get the water now. But it does go to show that in the middle of the day, especially because we're in the desert, with not many structures around here, we get spotted so easily. So I think if that's gonna be a safe house right here, then we should definitely... That's not a safe house. We should definitely... use it. Right here. Whoa! That's a little bit too floaty of a jump. Right, no workbench here. Nighttime, please. It is currently 10 past midnight, 11 past midnight, and we are ready to finally go get some water! Our people have been starving for like a week in the Caspian Desert. But no longer. No longer. That's gonna change... very soon. I wanna say today, but who knows how long this is gonna take. Hi guys, I'm not here for you today. 
since we've already been here, we know exactly where to go. It's just right beyond the... Did I turn off the bonfire last time? I hope not. It's exactly where that bonfire is, right? Towards the very, very edge here. Oh! No! No! My quest for water can't end this soon. The mirror should be waiting for us already. And he is. Are you ready? How are the guys doing with no water? While you were away, I scouted it out a bit. I guess the mirror might be used to this kind of weather. As you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door. Do you mind if I make some med kits first? Steel balls were okay. Yul says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. Well, let's go! <gasps> Follow your lead. Well, the bridges are burnt now. Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. We were high up to begin with. You made us come down here. <laughs> oh, there's a geyser right there, my goodness. This could be dangerous if we're not paying attention. Doesn't seem like anybody lives here anymore. Whoa! Wow! That's some noise! Is that the geyser? I can imagine this place being a pretty nice place to live though. It's cool. Secluded. It's not very hot here. What's that? Huh? Ah, shaitan! Bats! Stupid bats! Yeah, this place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady. Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance. Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters, and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost. See, this person has no sand on their body. Down here, you can get some relief from the sand. Welp. Reassuring. Shoo! You want me to go first? Hey! Hey, Demir! Oh, wait! Arjun, masks on! Caspian Sea. So, the war really did put people back into the Stone Age. Cave, paintings and all. These are recent. Oh, they toughed it out here for some time. 
I wish we'd gotten here earlier. When the slaves talk, they don't seem to speak the language very well. Damn! A cave-in! What in luck though, there's still some space left. I don't know if they're speaking Kazakhstan or, or Russian, but they speak pretty primitively. So they didn't really manage to get an education here. Maybe that's kind of why they went back to the cave paintings, to express themselves. Whoa. Paul, oh, how many people lived here? Everything is built up. Uh, let's try walking around. Do you know what we're doing, Demir? All I know is we're getting water today by stealing it from the Baron, right? We'll have to traverse the caves and get into the oasis. Careful. Demir? Wow. That's all of them. Well, let's continue. <laughs> At least they didn't get the jump on us. Thanks to the motion detector. Thank you very much. There's more. You want to get all of them in the mirror? Oh! <laughs> this is going to be fun. Wow. Keep together. Reloading. Hello. Attract more by using guns that make a lot of noise. But at this point, ah, my gas mask, it's cracking. Not good. These are done for two. Now we cross the bridge and head back. Sorry, Demir. Let me just make a few filters. Steel balls. Following. The passage to the spring. Let's go. Another cave in. My filter is almost done for. It's okay, I've got many. Look, light! Here. Well, the air seems alright. Masks off. Good. Mine was cracking. Well, it's a crawl from here on.
Gil says the locals follow every word the oilmen say. So... Turn your torch off, Artyom. It's a dead giveaway. Let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Look, water. See that car? I'll move there and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Uh... Good luck. And try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, all right? Okay. Yeah, the slaves are working here. I think we can recognize visually the difference between a slave and a thug. We just have to be careful about not killing the slaves. If we want to be extra safe, we'll just keep knocking people out, like we always do anyway. The question is though, if they see me, are they gonna rat me out? Hey. Okay, I'll just leave you alone then. Oh, he noticed me. No, you might not tell anyone I saw you. Not tell. I see truth. I not tell anyone. Hey, don't look over here then. All we gotta do is wait until he goes back up again. I could get him right now, but I'm scared that with a lamp there, somebody will see me get him. Seriously, what's the general idea of even having us here? They want more losses, or what? Okay, this might be a bad idea. There's another guy's coming now. It's okay. Slow and steady. It's a wonder they don't hear my beeping. Damn. Waiting for something you know what is hundred times worse than being in a fight. There, you at least know where the enemy is. Have fun getting your head stuck in that. Don't hurry, don't hurry. Calm down, okay? Just trying to turn off all the lamps quicker. I feel like I could get him right now, though, but, um... Is that it for down here? I'm really thankful the slaves aren't ratting on me though, because we have seen previously 
around the light tower where people... The slaves were really scared. They were scared of being punished by their masters. So they would definitely have attacked me if they saw me. Turning the wheel. This is a little bit hard because all the lights are high up. Oh, the tribal is the one ordering the guys around. I don't think we should go over there. Was that guy sitting on the candle? <laughs> Where'd that guy come from? <laughs> There's a guy that's just sitting under the light. That guy, if we can save for last, that would be the best. Is that guy gonna move or what? Go back and get him. No smoking. It's all slaves here, plus one master. My God. Yeah, I can get this guy, I think, but there's so many slaves here. I think we should just leave him alone for now. I can't believe he didn't hear me though. Holy crap. That wind chime. This time, our goal is not just to sneak past, but we gotta um, get atop the wash tower and open the fort's gate. Ah, this is hmm. nice. The only thing missing is a good smoke and maybe a drink. Come, come here now. Take home now. Why? Open your all good to 
There are dogs here. See that? I can't shoot out. This I can. We have a contract here! What? Where was the dog? Holy god, I can't turn it out. They turn on the floodlights. Ah! Ah! Ah, I knew I shouldn't have taken out the light. It's okay! It's okay! Behind them! That's one down! I'll hold them! I'm sure! You can get to that lever! There you go! Where? Where is the lever? I don't know where the lever is! Please don't make me kill a dog! Oh my gosh, it's all bungled up. If I had the compass... It's gotta be here, right? Look, they're pointing arrows here. I'm so sorry, doggy. I feel like they're saying the lever is here, but I don't see it because... Take this, asshole. Here? Ah! God, what the hell? We finally lost them. Well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. <sighs> Looks like they aren't giving chase. Time to get back to the Aurora. Could be worse. Hey, we didn't kill any slaves. We're fine. Are you tired? No wonder. All right, brother. Have some rest. Thanks, man. It's been a long day. What? Ready! Spit it out! Sir, Anna, to the left! Out of the car, now! Chest, there! Grenade, I'm Get out! To go. They're moving in along the road! Yeah. We have to oh. flank them before they spread out and set the big kill zone here! Move it! What happened to my moment of rest, Amir? Oh my god! Goddamn sandstorm! They sure know how to arrive unnoticed! I'm guessing they're not happy about the water being stolen. Use the cover! Give you cover! Heal! Everybody's here! Oh, there's a whole bunch of people walking over! Oh, that thing? No, we should use that guy to our advantage! Oh! It's too dust stormy here! Holy crap! Oh my gosh, my weapon keeps jamming. 
You can see the layer of sand on it. Come on! Ah, you oh! oh, thank you! Whoever did that. Somebody's got a minigun somewhere. Oh my god, where are we? Oh, we're back at the train, but like, literally nobody woke me up until they were at our front step already. <sighs> oh. Miller asked Sam to check everybody, but I'm gonna just, you know, steal everything because I can. Yeesh. We're not happy. But it seems like everyone's okay now. I saw everybody fighting, and nobody complaining about dehydration. That's one small blessing. Oh, we showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now, and this is just... Hmm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? It's Seven leaking! Hundred, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Me and Demir again. Ready to go, brother? Don't oh my to gosh. And prepare before you set out. Maybe we could still negotiate with him. I tried that already. No dice. He takes women as payment. This is leaking. Artyom, the car's near the Aurora. Yermak, you sure the pipes will hold? Yeah, we'll have to run them through the whole carriage. Yana. Artyom, we're fixing to leave already, but I can't stop thinking about the slaves the bandits kept at that dismantled ship. Just imagine, if you hadn't helped them, they'd still be locked up there with no hope. Thank you for being... you. <sighs> So tired of this dust. Can't wait to get out of here. Don't take dumb risks there. I need a live husband, not a dead hero. Yeah, I'll be back. I think that was a little reminder that, hey, if you didn't do that yet, you should go do it now. But I did it already, so they were like, oh, thank you. Thank you for having done it. Good. Yeah, now we're really going over to the end of the tracks. Our pumps aren't that good. Can't build much of a pressure, so I don't expect leaks. Some seepage at worst. Once we get far enough, we'll move the pipes to the roof and then replace them with proper metal ones. Uncle Artyom, well, Uncle Artyom. Having so many spare parts, I drank so much water. Are you brought up from Moscow. 
It's slashing in my belly now. It never hurts to have more spirits. You drink some too. Grandpa Max says you can drink as much as you want now. We'll also have tea. Thank you, Nastya. Yeah, we could build a second one, but didn't have enough to fix the first at the Volga. Well, you can't foresee everything. <laughs> Guys, pump faster. It's still leaking. My goodness. They're pumping the water into the Aurora. Oh, they know exactly where we are because of this gigantic train. Hi, Artyom! Hey, Duke. Well, it's all gonna be okay now. We can't lose now that we have water. You guys did great! Thanks. Artyom, watch out while on the mission. We'll be praying for you. Thank you. Oh, come on. It's Artyom we're talking about. He's made of steel. Just listen to him walk. Clunk, but clunk. Yeah, man. <laughs> You'd better keep both your eyes open out there. The cavalry will be there in the nick of time, of course, but don't go taking unnecessary risks. I'll try my best. Like Anna said, she needs an alive husband, not a dead one. Well, we'll work on that. Excuse me, Duke! Don't just throw that stuff in there, my god! <laughs> okay, we gotta get to the workbench. My weapon hasn't jammed for so long. I can't imagine how dirty it is right now. Wait, where's the workbench? You don't want to let me access it? Where is my car? You said it was around here. Over there. But I gotta gear up first. Oh, come on, you guys. It's a little bit tight here, guys. Whoa, Stepan is so much shorter than Duke. That seems... wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we didn't have a workbench in here. Mmm, but they won't let me access it. Can I really not clean my weapon? Because they're all dusty right now. Okay, well, if we can't, then we'll just have to find a safe house along the way, right? Which we do have one. Yeah. At the helipad. That one's kind of annoying to access, though, because we gotta go all the way to the top and everything. But for some reason, they won't. Oh, I just came to take a look what happened here. Can't I see? Let's go back to the train, Nastya. Nothing to see. Nothing? Nothing at all? Nothing at all. I swear. Hmm. Alright. Goodness, we had a firefight right here with a little girl. Artyom, Gyul and I will soon be leaving, so you can take some rest, do a checkup on your gear, and catch up with us. We'll rendezvous at their base. Yeah, I would love to, but I I haven't figured out how to get to the workbench here, so it's okay. I'll just go. We'll get to the helipad, have a rest at night, and then we'll infiltrate in. Listen up, everyone! The Baron... Fuck off, dumbass! Alright, <laughs> everyone in second reserve. Assemble at the ring. That's it? Oh, that sounds like we're gonna see a ton of people wherever we're going. That's not good. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I'll meet you at the helipad.